Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, I apologize. I'll have to speak loudly. Our, our PA system is uh, a little bit on the fritz this morning, so uh, um, uh, we're just going to do this uh, uh, traditional way and just speak with a very loud voice, right? The mom and dad voice is what we're going to use today. So we'd like to welcome you all to uh, Scouting for Food. Um, this is a program that's been going on for several decades uh, uh, here in Orange County and throughout the country. Uh, my name is Brian Lockery. I'm the committee chairman for Troop 241 and uh, serving today as the uh, MC of today's event. Scouting for Food actually began way back in 1985 at Mild Stomping Grounds where I grew up in St. Louis and it spread throughout the country. Last year we collected more than 26 tons of food for the uh, needy here in Orange County. This year, we're looking to exceed that and get up to 30 tons of food. And uh, first, I'd like to uh, recognize the uh, mayor of the city of Orange, who will come and speak in just a minute, but Tita Smith is here with us today. Morning. Really appreciate the mayor being here with us today. And uh, I'd also like to introduce now um, our uh, scoutmaster for, uh, for my hometown troop here in Orange, the oldest troop in Orange, Troop 241, Jim Shoffett, who's also the district director for Scouting for Food. Jim. Thank you, good morning. I'm, I'm glad you're all here today and it's been over 20 years since my son and I actually went door to door asking for food donations for Scouting for Food with our own home troop. And I'm so glad uh, you're all here to continue to support Scouting for Food, thank you. Now at this time I'd like to introduce Pastor Phil Sipes from Bethel Lutheran Church for the invocation. Good morning. Thank you all for being here. This has been a year of great heartache, tragedy, and pain for many people, especially in Houston, Florida, Mexico, and Las Vegas, just to name a few. It gives me great joy today to see the Boy and Girl Scouts shining like a beacon of hope as you continue to do what you do so well, serve others. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, bless this great endeavor and give to all those involved so much success that they both see and experience your great power working in them as they do their work. Even as they bring in this year much greater than the 26 tons, maybe even over 35 tons of food because of your great grace and your love. Lord, may your grace, love, and blessings inspire all those involved to even greater service throughout the rest of their lives as they continue to serve in your name with your love and by your power. Thank you for the Boy and Girl Scouts of America. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Sipes. Now, I would like to introduce Zach Barnes. He is gonna call forward the uh, Girl Scouts and Boy Scout Color Guard, and then we're gonna follow by the playing of the National Anthem on the harmonica by Philip Fouquet. Audience attention. Car guard attention. Car guard advance. If in uniform or previously served in the armed forces, salute. If not, place your right hand over your heart. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two, Car color guard, prepare to post the colors. Post the colors. Color guard, honor the colors. Two, Car guard, regroup. Color guard, retreat. Dismissed.
Philip Fauquet, thank you very much. I feel like saying play ball, but the season's <laughs> over, right? Okay, would like to um, now introduce uh, the mayor of the great city of Orange, someone who was uh, born and raised right here in the city and is now fortunate enough to be the mayor in our own hometown, our own Tita Smith. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so very much, all of you, for being here. It's my honor to be involved with Scouting for Food in Orange. We welcome you here. Uh, in my real life, I'm a social worker. I work for Catholic Charities of Orange County, and we actually have a very large food bank. So I am very, very grateful to you on behalf of our community for your efforts to collect food for people in need. In Orange County, we appear to be a very affluent community. There are 3.3 million people in Orange County. I have to look up and see how many people were in Orange County when I was born, which was a while ago, but I know it wasn't, I, I doubt it was even a million back then. Of those 3.3 million people, we know that at least 500,000 men, women, and children suffer food insecurity. They live at or below the poverty level. Children are only fed in those households adequately because they go to school and there's a school breakfast program and a lunch program. The food that scouts will be collecting then goes into the home pantry so that families can have more food at home as well as hopefully be subsidized by other food pantries. Canned goods and non-perishable foods are invaluable in people's homes, and so we're so grateful for all of you. I want to especially thank the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts who are working on this project. Acknowledgement to Mr. Jim Shoffett, the Scoutmaster, who is the District Manager for Scouting for Food, and also to Vicki Shep for her efforts with the Girl Scouts. I am so proud that in Orange, it's not only adults that are thinking about people who are in need, but also sharing the message with our kids, with scouts, with their brothers and sisters, older brothers and sisters, with Girl Scouts, all the people that you touch as well. Because we know that as a, we're only a community when three generations are involved. Not one generation, not two. When we get to the third generation, that means that we are a community. So I wish you all the best as you talk to people at Smart and Final and go door to door here in the city of Orange. I hope that um, you realize what a difference you're making in the lives of those 500,000, a half a million people who today don't have enough food in their home. God bless you all. Be safe and keep up your magnificent work in scouting. God bless you. Thank you, Mayor Smith. I'd like to now introduce the uh, president of the Orange County Boy Scout Council, Jeff Herman. Well, thank you, Brian. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Madam Mayor. We're so glad that you've uh, chosen to come join us on this chilly morning for the kickoff for Scouting for Food. As, as Brian mentioned in his introduction, Scouting for Food uh, started in 1985, but quite honestly, the Boy Scouts have been teaching young men about the importance of servant leadership and doing a good turn daily. In fact, doing a good turn daily is our slogan for well over a hundred years. If you go back to uh, the days of World War I, we taught scouts how to plant uh, victory gardens and vegetable gardens. We did the same during World War II and in between, uh, during the Great Depression, we taught young men to collect food for the needy. So we've been doing this for, for a very long time and the important lesson that we're trying to teach young people is Servant leadership is all about doing things for other people, being a good citizen and contributing to your community. And we're so proud this year to uh, support the Orange County Department of Education in their billion, uh, uh, one billion acts of kindness. So we've joined with the Girl Scouts of Orange County, we've joined with Second Harvest Food Bank, and of course our corporate partner, Smart and Final, to present Scouting for Food. So we thank you for your support, and uh, we really look forward to, uh, to the great numbers of things that we're going to collect during the day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff. 
And this program couldn't be done without the uh, strong support of the Girl Scouts of America as well. And I'd like to introduce the Vice President of Mission Operations for the Girl Scouts of Orange County, Vicki Shep. Thank you. This is a very important community service opportunity for the Girl Scouts of Orange County. And as you've heard, for nearly 30 years, we have collected almost four and a half million pounds of food. That means we've worked together to provide almost four and a half million meals. So let's give a big cheer for that. That is a lot of food that we've already done over this history. In addition, Scouting for Food helps girls and all of us learn about this issue in our community. As we've heard, hunger, food insecurity, and lack of nutritious options are the issues facing many people, too many people in Orange County today. And you know what? I know that Girl Scout, a, a Girl Scout is going to be the one to help end hunger, to help people in Orange County get food and to teach others about healthy options. And you know why I know that? Because at Girl Scouts, we help girls learn how to dig into an issue find its root cause, and work to change the tide through our Take Action projects. We know that collecting food is critical to help those who are hungry now, but we also know that the power of a go-getter, innovator, risk-taker, and leader, a G-I-R-L, will drive the solution to hunger. I'm sure that one of our Girl Award Girl Scouts will earn that prestigious award because of her work at leading the change from food collection to sustainable solutions. Girl Scouts believes in the power of every G-I-R-L, and that is why we support this important work. So today, let's collect and donate food, and tomorrow, or in the near future, I challenge you all to learn about the issue, to find its root cause, and to take action to solve the issues of hunger in Orange County and beyond. Let's go scouting for food, and let's make this 30th year of scouting for food one of the most fruitful by collecting, I'm gonna match what the pastor said, 70,000 pounds of food. Can we do that? We're a small group right here, but that means we will be able to collect over 50,000 meals for our neighbors here in Orange County. And I believe that we can do that together. Thank you. I love these stretch goals, 70,000 pounds of food. That's terrific. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can get that done. Really appreciate the Girl Scouts co cooperating with the Boy Scouts. This is a, a team effort. And I'd like to introduce now the uh, chairman of Scouting for Food for the entire Orange County Council, Jack Lamey. Good, good morning. Uh, I. Uh, this is my 12th year being involved in uh, Scouting for Food and the 10th as the county chairman. And one thing that uh, we didn't mention was is it's the largest activity that's done jointly by the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts in Orange County. And so uh, today we're going to count on a lot of help, a lot of help from our scouts and a lot of help from the volunteers to, to feed the, uh, the hungry. But I wanted to share with you a, a little bit of a different story today. Uh, as part of Scouting for Food, we do every year a contest to design the patch. This is the patch that we'll be giving out later on. These scouts that are standing here in front of you, I hope will wear it proudly. And uh, this year, the patch contest uh, was won by a young lady who's standing right next to me. Her name is Ava Ngo. She uh, uh, lives here in Tustin. And I uh, had a very amazing experience uh, in in this process and I wanted to share with you and very inspirational you know uh, the pastor mentioned that there's been a lot of disasters and bad things happening and you know I, I myself was in need of a little bit of a lift and uh, when we got the prize for the patch contest I emailed uh, Ava's mom and said can you give me your address and I'm gonna send these to you and Ava s sent back through her mom the message that she wanted the patch the um, the, these, the prize, which is tickets to Knott's Berry Farm, sent to uh, someone else. And uh, the reason why is uh, that Ava entered into the contest trying to win the tickets so that she could share them with uh, her 
through, through her family, uh, a cousin who has a disease, uh, childhood cancer called uh, Langerhorn cell histocytosis. And uh, her cousin's family wasn't able to use the ticket, so they found another family here in Orange County that's suffering from this, uh, this disease. And, and Ava had us send those tickets to, to them. And uh, I was thinking to myself how, uh, you know, I've, I've been involved in scouting for a very long time and I've met some very remarkable young people. And a week or so ago when, when I got that email, I, I was in need of a little bit of a pick me up and, and, and Ava was the one who, who provided it for me. So as you go out today, out into the neighborhoods to collect food, to the Smart and Final stores or whatever, I, and, and when you're in, in your schools or at work uh, next week, do me a favor and, and, and tell that story. Tell, tell Ava's story. And even more importantly, live Ava's story. Live it today when uh, you, you're out there. Do something amazing today and, and then do another amazing thing tomorrow because I, I'm pretty sure that Ava's going to do a lot of amazing things before she's done. And I, and I thank her and I'm going to give you that to have because that's your handiwork, all right? So thank you. Thank you, Jack, and thank you uh, especially to Ava. That's a wonderful story, and it really epitomizes service above self, which is what the scouting program is all about. And thank you so much for all you do, and thank you to everybody who's here today and all everybody is doing for scouting. Uh, now, the uh, Scouting for Food program has to be a collaborative effort, right? I mean, the scouts are out there, they're knocking on doors, they're collecting food, but they need to deliver that food somewhere where they know it's going to uh, end up in the right hands. And so uh, the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts programs and the Scouting for Food effort has partnered with the uh, Second Harvest Food Bank who helps make that happen. And we're fortunate enough here this morning to have the CEO of the Second Harvest Food Bank, Nicole Sudam, who's gonna come up and say a few words. Nicole. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. I'm so grateful for uh, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts for this amazing community partnership. Uh, we literally could not do our work without you. Um, last year, Second Harvest Food Bank provided the equivalent of 21.6 million meals to the community. Um, this is our effort to make sure that no one goes hungry in Orange County. Um, the mayor touched on the fact that there are a lot of hungry people in Orange County, more than most people could imagine. And what's really um, quite um, you know, hard to take too is the thought of any child going hungry. We know there's about one in six kids who suffer from hunger um, every day right here in Orange County. And that mirrors the national statistic, one in six kids. Um, so what's happening at the national level also right here in Orange County. So what I love about this program is this is all about you guys, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, kids helping kids. Um, and that's truly where we know we can end hunger in Orange County. It's going to be this generation coming up um, who's going to solve this problem. You know, we've gotten the work started. Um, we're meeting a lot of need. Um, but I truly believe it's the kids that as they grow up, as they learn about this issue, that are going to really, it's going to be you guys, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, that are going to really solve this problem uh, right here. So I do have something cool to share. Um, we keep a lot of records at Second Harvest Food Bank. We track every, um, every pound of food that comes in. And in 29 years, the uh, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts have collected more than 5.3 million pounds of food that have directly helped families right here in Orange County. Can you guys give yourselves a hand for that? That's so exciting. So uh, the timing of this, food, of this food drive couldn't come at a better time. Um, this is the holiday season where many families struggle even more. Um, so as you bring in those food donations um, during your food drive, um, it'll come back to the food bank. Um, our, our operation is in Irvine. We have a really large building. Imagine like a soccer or football field. It's about that large. And we're getting all that food out to 190 nonprofit organizations. These are the churches, the soup kitchens, and the shelters who are directly feeding people in need. Um, right now, we're reaching about 250,000 people every month through all of those organizations. So I want to just thank you um, from, on behalf of everybody at Second Harvest, on behalf of the people we serve, um, for all the work that you're doing, um, the, the selfless, kind acts. 
And uh, we just appreciate the partnership with the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts. And thank you to the mayor as well for her support. And we also get to partner with the mayor um, at Catholic Charities. Uh, so thank you so much. And I'm here after if any of you have any questions about Second Harvest. Um, and also, for those of you who haven't volunteered um, at our children's volunteer program, Izzy's Corner, we'd love to have you. Have any of you done that yet? Not yet? Um, okay, good. Um, we have an amazing opportunity where kids can come in and volunteer at our warehouse. We have a safe area, um, so we'd love to have you anytime. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nicole. Once again, service above self, and that's what Scouting for Food is all about. Um, I'd like to introduce our, our final speaker of the, uh, of the morning is, uh, uh, some, is our district representative for Supervisor Todd Spitzer Altello. Um, Supervisor Spitzer has always been a champion for the less fortunate in our community, and uh, he couldn't be with us here today, but he sent our district representative, uh, Altello, who's gonna say a few words. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you, what a beautiful morning. Uh, what, what you're doing is great, and I just wanted to say something about the Second Harvest Food Bank. Before they were created, in fact, they started out as the St. Vincent de Paul Foods Food Bank, and it was located here in Orange, about two blocks from the circle. And back then, before it was created, grocery stores that had food, bread, stuff like that, that was that was about to expire, it was perfectly good, but they didn't. Ha they had to take it off the shelves. And what they would do is they would take it to the the landfill. And they would they would dump it off because they had no other option. They had to get rid of it. They couldn't sell they couldn't sell it. And the food bank was created as a as a place where this food could be collected and and distributed. It then became the Second Harvest Food Bank, and it's grown to be a great operation. So to all of the scouts here, what you're doing is great. There's a great need. I was a scout when I grew up. And I can think of all the really important things that I, that I learned in scouting. I learned about leadership. I learned about community service. I, I also uh, learned uh, that, it, that it's, um, it's, a, it's about doing for, for, for others. I learned also how to camp. My, my parents were not campers. And the first time that I went camping, I, I went with a the, with the Boy Scout troop. And then uh, there's, there's three things that I wanted to impart on you as, as you're getting older. Number one, I hope at one time in your life that you will be betrayed by a friend because only then will you know the sense of loyalty. Number two, I hope sometime in your life that you will be wronged by our criminal justice system because only then will you know the true sense of justice? And then number three, now that you're getting, as you're getting older, when you get in high school, you're, you might find that you have uh, the develop an interest in the opposite sex and girls. And when that happens, gentlemen, I have no advice. <laughs> We'll focus on one and two today, <laughs> and we'll focus on service, which is what the scouting program has really been all about. And uh, uh, we're so proud today uh, to have all these scouts who are here with us today and, and their parents and, and grandparents and friends and family who have all come out um, and really made a commitment uh, to, provide, um, to provide something for those who have nothing. And, uh, and that's really what uh, the Scouting for Food program is all about, is being able to provide those essentials of life to those who, uh, who don't have the ability to provide for themselves. And uh, by working through the Second Harvest Food Bank and uh, by collaborating, uh, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, uh, uh, there was a, uh, uh, unfortunately, the representative from Smart and Final couldn't be here today, but they've been a great partner in the Scouting for Food program as well and are, are allowing the scouts to go into the, into the stores and, uh, and ask those who shop at Smart and Final to, uh, to make a contribution um, of uh, non-perishable foods to the Scouting for Food program. And we know we're going door to door. So we know this is gonna be a, uh, a long day for a lot of us. We're gonna go door to door. We're gonna knock on a lot of doors. We're gonna collect a lot of food but it's all for a good cause. So let's focus on those scout skills, let's focus on leadership, and most of all today, let's focus on service. So let's go out there, let's knock on doors, and let's have a great year, 70,000 pounds of food this year for Scouting for Food. So thank you so much for joining us here today, and we'll see you again here next year. Thank you.